Press Cafe. Now, in a year of British sporting success, Heather Watson's was one of the most surprising. Her weekend victory in the Japan Open was the first major tournament win for a British woman in 24 years. So, after Andy Murray's triumphs in the Olympics and the US Open, could we be witnessing the dawn of a new golden era for British tennis? Here's our sports correspondent, Kamian Zerum. In the green, Heather Watson. She's only 20, and since she was born, no Briton had done this. Triumphed on the professional tour. The commentator seemed pretty chuffed too. And back on home turf, Heather was full of praise for the family who've backed her from the very beginning. They've been there for me every step of the way, so supportive, and it helps so, so much to have supportive parents, you know. Because tennis isn't like football or rugby or athletics. It requires expensive specialist coaching. Heather Watson started playing age seven in Guernsey. I've been playing a few matches and learning on getting my hand back on my forehand. Her parents soon realised she had talent, so they did what many could never afford. They upped sticks to Florida so she could attend the same tennis academy that produced the likes of Andre Agassi, Monica Chelez and Maria Sharapova. Hi, I'm Maria Sharapova and you're watching Laura and Jeannie's Gangnam Style. Sharapova and her colleagues on the professional tennis tour made this video the other day, also featuring a certain Ms. Watson. But if you don't have the resources to send your kids to an elite tennis hothouse, what are the options? It starts with the grassroots, a challenge the Lawn Tennis Association knows well. The number of people who play tennis was, until recently, on the slide. In 2009, just over half a million picked up a racket once a week. By 2011, this had collapsed to well below 400,000. Sport England cut the funding for the Lawn Tennis Association by £500,000 for failing to meet their targets. The latest participation figures show a slight increase, back up to nearly 420,000. But even if people are playing regularly, what if they're good, really good? Like 15-year-old Levi Lowe Lennon, one of the best in his county. I believe if I put in the hard work and make sacrifices, you can achieve anything in life and definitely in sport. Levi's mum, though, is at full stretch with coaching and tournament fees. So imagine the scene, a competition many miles from home and her son is winning, which should be great news. Um, but by the time he reached the, the semi-final, I think, I was wishing that he would lose because I couldn't really afford to pay £99 a day to go to Felixstowe anymore. So why, challenge the critics, don't the LTA, who've built a shiny new multi-million pound training centre, offer more support for the champions of tomorrow? You've got to remember, we're in a major recession here around the world at the moment. But we have campaigns, whether it's allplay.com, to get people involved. You know, it's sort of like a Twitter site where you can find cheap courts, outdoors, indoors, coaching for as little as £2.50 a week. So we're trying to get initiatives out there to get more people playing. And at the elite end, British tennis has had a transformative year. But next year, the next decade indeed, there's much work yet to do. Kamian Zerum reporting.